Now I could have been a gambler, cause I'm good with the cards. I could have been a lover, breaking others' hearts. And I'd feel so silly, bending on the dice. And a lover seldom see the same girl twice. And that is why, that is why, oh, that's why I chose, that's why I chose, I chose to sing the blues. Yes, I did. Welcome to the Man Cave Cigar Lounge, live from the poker table. I'm Clint Denny, and with me is Jim Double D Herndon, fellow cigar aficionado and certified tobacconist. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the La Imperiosa from Crown Head Cigars. The La Imperiosa was a blend that actually came from the Los Calaveras. Uh, Los Calaveras is a limited edition blend that Crown Heads puts out each year in May. It's rolled by the My Father Cigar Factory. They uh, do it one time, it comes out, and then it's no more. Well, the 2014 blend was so popular that a lot of people wanted that cigar back. And to keep in the tradition of not interrupting the Las Calaveras, they decided to rebrand it the La Imperiosa. And a lot of people don't realize that La Imperiosa was actually an old Cuban brand, and Crown Heads decided to bring that branding back for their Las Calaveras. 2014. The La Imperiosa comes in four different sizes. It comes in the Magicos, the Dupes, the Double Robusto, and the Corona Gorda. All four delicious sizes. Um, they have kept the blend almost exactly as it was uh, in 2014, so it's made a lot of people real happy. Um, I've heard some people talk about it, that it doesn't taste exactly the same, but a lot of those people tried the 2014, or maybe they uh, let that cigar age in their humidor for over a year so there may be a little bit of uh of mellowing with the cigar some different uh different tastes from the uh, oils of the different tobaccos melding together over that but all in all it is a really really great cigar yes it is uh, my favorite size today we're smoking the double robusto my favorite size personally is the corona gorda it's a little thinner ring gauge than this uh, to me i get a little bit more of the wrapper flavor and, uh, and it, it brings that wrapper flavor out, which is awesome. Uh, the Crown Headlines has done really well for us here at the store, whether it's the uh, La Imperiosa that we have on back order, whether it's the Yellow Rose, the Las Calaveras, or any of their line. Uh, Crown Heads have done really well here at the shop. We've done an event with them. Uh, Brian McKee, who is their rep for us, is just a phenomenal rep. And uh, we actually have several cigars that we do with them, uh, Jericho Hill being one of them. I know it's one of both of our favorite cigars. That, the J.D. Howell. No, uh, yeah. The Headley Grange. The uh, Jericho Hill has a new size coming out in just a couple of weeks. It's going to come out in a Lancero size, which I am a fan of the Lancero. And we'll have that here in the shop shortly. It's, uh, it's brand new from Crown Heads. And uh, we can't forget the Four Kicks as well. Four Kicks. Absolutely wonderful cigar. Wonderful cigar. Very good. Uh, on light up on this cigar, I get a lot of earth flavor. A uh, little bit of spice, some black pepper, not much, with a hint of cocoa in the back uh, that just tingles on the tongue, and uh, I love it. It's got the uh, Honduran Obscuro. Yeah, I knew I was going to mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> Honduran. <laughs> it's Honduran uh, Habano Obscuro wrapper, which it's is actually uh, Ecuadorian, Ecuadorian Habano Obscuro wrapper. wrapper, and it's a lot of words for a cigar wrapper, so. <laughs> Please forgive me, but it's a Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler, uh, which a lot of their cigars use Nicaraguan tobaccos. Um, the Nicaraguan tobaccos, to me, are, are one of the premier tobaccos that are used in the industry right now. It's probably my favorite tobacco, especially on some of the Nicaraguan puros. Now, coming from my father factory as well, which is in Esteli, Nicaragua, uh, they do a lot of blending with it. The Habano that they use on here, it, it adds a sweetness in it. In the, in the, a little bit of cedar zing on it, and uh, and it's very nice. The Oscuro, which is a Maduro wrapper, it's not dark. It's not really super dark. It's oily, um, and it does add that touch of sweetness to the cigar. You get the flavor of cocoa, as you said. And some people, when they look at the cigar, because it's a it's a dark wrapper, it's got a nice sheen to it, an oiliness to the tobacco. They uh, they almost want to say no. I don't I don't want to do that. It's it's going to be too strong, too harsh a cigar. 
and it's really not a super strong cigar. No, it's not. It's a medium-bodied <laughs> cigar all the way. Uh, it builds, as the cigar goes, it builds to a little bit more of a full uh, strength cigar. Uh, the La Hero in it builds, gives that little bit of nicotine kick, but it's not overpowering. It's mm -hmm. not something that's going to just make you dizzy. I agree. It definitely, uh, definitely is a satisfying cigar. It's absolutely delicious. There's a, uh, there's a meld of flavors throughout the cigar. I personally on this one have gotten a little bit of a flavor change. Uh, I got more spice on the beginning of it. That has definitely mellowed out. I'm getting more of the cocoa and earthy notes uh, of the cigar. Mm -hmm. My particular cigar has just a slightly firm draw. It's open. It breathes <clears throat> fine. A lot of smoke output. It's a nice, creamy, meaty smoke. Um, very enjoyable. Crown Head cigars in general have just phenomenal construction to them. Um, whether it's one of their box presses like the Jericho Hill or just their normal size. The Double Robusto that we're smoking right now is a 6 and 3 eighths by 50 ring gauge. Um, it's a perfect size for me. Um, this one in particular is depending on how quick or how fast you smoke a cigar, an hour and 20 minutes to probably an hour and 40 minutes. Um, definitely for a <coughs> nice yeah. for the back nine. Yeah, on this Double course. Robusto, I, I probably average an hour and a half on this particular cigar. So, you want to cut and burn it down a little bit? Yeah.